Well, that was a week. Hello, I'm Michael with Rise Saints Rain. Today I'm going to go over how well did I do this week. It's the beginning of March and I was expecting to do some awesome things from the get go, but that didn't quite exactly happen. I did manage to buy a couple of new themes from Theme Grill for the blogs that I maintain, and uh, one of them is great and uh, it works okay. It just doesn't work very well in the customizer. I don't know why. But then I wound up spending two days fighting that blog in particular. Doesn't seem like anybody knows what the hell's wrong with it. It just keeps going slow and then super fast back and forth. Now, I've been working with tech people and uh, removing and installing and changing plugins and it's a lot of fun. I did manage to fix a couple of things that were messed up on the blog, but I wasn't really aiming for them. For instance, I fixed the like button on the posts of Writer Sanctuary, even though that wasn't exactly what I was trying to fix. And, knock on wood, but I might be getting some watch time from the videos that are on my website. That's because a lot of the times I'll embed the videos with their blog counterparts so that people can either read or watch the content. And some of the older ones are a little bit on the cringy side. I wish you can go back and like re-upload videos for that specific topic like you can with a blog. Because there's some stuff that I did back in 2018 that I'm like, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't delete them or remake them because they're getting, they're still getting views even on YouTube. So if I got rid of it, I would like cut my watch time in half. Oh well. The bottom line is that hopefully I'll start getting credit for the views on my website now. And uh, if I do, then I want to write a blog post about it, maybe even make a video on how to fix it. Because I can't be the only one that comes across this problem. I can't seem to find it anywhere in Google, but it's something that was uh, plaguing my site for the past year and a half. Well, a year and a month. This week I also lost one of my smaller clients and uh, I made a video about kind of touching base on what that was a couple of days ago. But um, it just means that I have more time to work on my projects in April. Granted, I've been working with this client for almost a year straight and then you kind of get attached to some of your clients after about a year and it's almost like losing a friend. But like I said, that is going to free up some time that I don't necessarily need the money it was just a lot of fun and an extra couple hundred bucks a month wasn't so bad but uh, with me working on so many books and blogs um, the time I'm gonna get back is kind of worth it and we're leaving he's leaving on good terms so if uh, what he's going through doesn't pan out he goes come back I told him that I'm always here something else I did this week was remove AdSense from in content um, well, the auto ads rather now if you don't know what auto ads is is that it's a setting you can turn on in adsense where it'll automatically inject advertisements into your content problem is is that the way it's doing it it would like leave orphan sentences so there'd be an image one sentence then an ad and it just it read poorly i wanted to make the reading experience as good as i can on my website so i decided to take auto ads off and put them back to manually um, placing them where i want them to be so that it's easier to read the content. I'm still using auto ads for like the anchor and from one page to another, stuff like that. But um, for in content, I'm gonna manage it myself again. And I've already seen like a 63% decrease in income. So I wanna track it over the next six months and see what happens. So that'll be an interesting blog post because I'm doing, I did it to all three websites. So, ouch. <laughs> the last couple of days, I've had every automatic system pound my PayPal account. I pay for a lot of different services such as well, Raffle Press, which I used once. I don't know why I bought it. Um, I also have Streamlabs for crossing or for Colorado Plays and then VidIQ and there's something else that went through my account recently too. So my account like exhausted really quick. And then I wound up paying $103 to Theme Grill for the themes. What this means is that I'm not going to be able to buy Atticus this month, which is a bummer because I really want to try that app out for writing. Um, it might be something I do next month. Every March I go through this and every March I think to myself, I need to turn some shit off. Well, I did. I turned off Raffle Press. So if I don't use it in the next year, I'm done with it. And initially I used it for, I gave away my book when it first came out, but I haven't really done much with it since. I was going to do it with uh, Kingmaker because I wanted my next book to be done by June of last year but things kind of fell apart and right now i'm almost done with the second rewrite of it and uh, hopefully it'll be out soon but i don't know maybe i'll use it one more time before i get rid of it moral of the story remember to shut down your services if you're not using them
And last thing next week, I'm heading to Utah on Friday, I think. Um, it should be from Friday through Monday, if I remember right. So I'm going to try to remember to create a video for or tomorrow so that it'll be scheduled to come out on Friday. So it won't be like this one, it'll be something else. But one of my goals this month is to maintain a Wednesday-Friday schedule for the YouTube channel. So I'm going to try to create something and have it ready for you on Friday. Because by this time next week, I should be checking into the hotel. I'm so looking forward to sleeping in a real bed. So anyway, that's how my March, March started. Uh, not super stellar, but I did manage to get a lot of things done that needed to be fixed. And uh, hopefully we can figure out why my websites keep slowing down and speeding up again. After all, I'm trying to rebuild a dead blog and I can't really do that if it's crapping out on me. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about freelance writing, self-publishing, or blogging. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today, and I'll see you next week.